This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Something else that really jumped out at me is the company is going to sue three bars in Dayton, Ohio for illegally showing WrestleMania six inside their bar. And Titan's going to try to get 330 grand in the suit from each defendant. And of course the bar owners say they bought the rights from a New York based company who told them they had the rights. Uh, and eventually it comes out that, Hey, this was accurate. Primetime 24 had negotiated this and it was authorized through the company, but I guess it's enough of a burr under the saddle. They say no more closed circuit like this. It's only pay-per-view moving forward. Uh, I guess maybe WrestleMania six didn't do gangbusters on closed circuit because well, pay-per-view was a little easier to come by here in 1990. But my question, when I saw the story was how the hell did Titan find out? This is way, way, way before the internet. Did you guys just have a quote unquote stooge in Dayton who tattled? I mean, it seems really random. This would be on your radar in Stanford. What's going on in a bar in Ohio? Well, because it was the number of people that attended and the number of people that they had come in. And, and again, yeah, you've got people that, that get that information to you. You also have watchdogs out there ahead of time that are looking for anybody advertising the event at a reduced rate. So for example, Hey, come to uh, the Conradison and watch WrestleMania. And it's only $15 ahead. I see when you're charging whatever it is, $24 ahead on pay-per-view or you have closed circuit, which by that time the closed circuit was almost Damn. non-existent. Yeah. So the, the way that, uh, the satellite companies would do it to a, a bar someplace where the patrons had to pay to watch it as a cover charge or something like that is they would do it by capacity. Right. So if your bar held a hundred people, you would pay essentially you'd pay that $24 a head for the hundred people. And then if it's 200 people, you just, you do it per your capacity. And I think that the rub was, yes, they did purchase it, but I think there was a little misrepresentation as far as what their capacity was and what they were actually charging and advertising. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.